Hey, what's up guys? We're Shaq Media here, and today I'm going to teach you how to flash on the Sony Xperia Z using Flash Tool. Um, if you're like me and you got sick of waiting for the UK unbranded version to be updated to 4.2.2 or any other version, I'm going to teach you how to do this very, very easily using the Flash Tool. So, big thanks to the guys who made that. It's very straightforward, but in case you're not exactly sure or whatever, I'm going to teach you how to do it. So, the first thing we're going to do is go right here. I'm going to leave the link in the description right here. And um, this is basically a kind of a tutorial, I'm just going to show a video tutorial. I'm going to leave the link in the description, you're going to click here, and you're going to download the Windows version. I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to skip that part. Once you download that, you're going to find the one you want. So basically, if you have a C66603, it's going to tell you right here what it's for. This works on any Xperia Z, it does not have to be rooted, so this is not a root process or anything. So there's a Spanish version, there's a Netherlands, there's whatever version you want. I personally use the Belgium version right here. 4.2.2, so you're going to download that. It should take a couple um, minutes, depending on your internet speed. It's about 700 megabytes. So once you download it, you're going to open it, and you're going to view it, so it's going to be in your um, area. You're going to go right here. You're going to go on Computer C. You're going to go on Flash Tool, which is going to be, depending on how much you have, it's going to be called Flash Tool, of course. And you're going to go on Firmwares. You're going to open up that folder, and you can see I have a bunch of different firmwares right here. So when you open up the Belgian one, you're going to have it in its original place, so you're just going to move it. Just move it to firmwares. So very, very simple. So that puts it in the Flash Tool firmware process. Then you're going to go back, and you're going to go to drivers. So depending on what Xperia device you want to flash, you're going to go right here and click next. And so they have a bunch of different Xperia devices. I personally am showing for the Z. So you're going to click Z and Flash Mode Drivers. And you're going to install both of those. I already have them installed, so I'm going to skip that process. That should take a couple minutes. But, like I said, it has a, any Xperia device you want to do. So once you do that, we're going to close this. We're going to go here. Let me just find Flash Tool. I'm personally using 64 because I got the 64-bit Windows. You're going to open it. Yes. And this is how it's going to kind of look. So I'm just going to zoom that in here. So since the device is disconnected, that's fine. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the lightning right here, flash device. And it's going to say flash mode. You click OK. And right here you're going to have a choice. So I have personally more, but it's usually going to have this one, which you are not going to use. But it's going to have um, generic BE or whatever you downloaded, whether it's UK unbranded. This is not 4.2.2 though. So whatever you have, you're going to have it right here. So you click which one you want. Right here, it's whether you want to wipe data or not. I didn't want to wipe my apps or anything, so you just unclick those, and it won't wipe anything. The process is a little longer once you do that, because um, I store everything, but it's better. You don't have to wipe everything. I'll just keep it on to show you a bit faster. So then you're going to hit Flash. And it's going to prepare files for flashing. It should, take, it should take a very short time. It's pretty quick. Um, you're going to want to have your mini USB ready. I don't know if there it is. Mini USB. And your Xperia Z booted off. So you're going to boot it off. Because it's going to ask you for it to be off. And hopefully wait 30 seconds for it when you turn it off. So you just turn it off. And it's going to say this. It's going to say unplug the device if you had it plugged in. It's going to say power off the device, press the back button, and plug the USB cable. So basically how that works is I'm not going to do it right now because I already have it flashed. I just want to show you how you do it. So basically... Um, when you're right here with the Xperia Z, you're going to have the cable inside your computer, the USB, and you're going to be ready. So it's going to be inside the computer. So don't stick it in. Just kind of keep it there. Just keep it kind of hanging. So you can just give it a slight push. Hold down the power button. I mean, sorry, the power button. So hold down the volume down button, not the power button. Hold down the volume down button. So hold that down and plug in. And... I'm, mine isn't connected right now because I'm not doing the process right now, but you're just going to hold it down for a couple seconds. This is then going to close. And you're going to wait a couple minutes. It'll, a bunch of different things. It'll just go through. Um, it'll tell you different things. I can show you right here. And whoops. I did not mean to open that. <laughs> so you're going to go through right here. And it's basically you're just going to go through all this kind of process. Where is it? Um, kind of this. So it's just going to show you a bunch of these things right there and you'll know it's done when it says device is connected in flash mode so that's when you know it's done and it'll take about three to four minutes maybe five depending if you're keeping your data or not 
So once you do that, it'll like go all the way down. It'll say device is connected in flash mode. The green bar here will no longer be there. Then all you gotta do is disconnect the device and boot it up and voila, you should have 4.2.2 or whatever ROM you wanted to flash with this device. So I really hope this helped. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Please like, comment, subscribe. Rush Act Media out.